The ill-fated Hindenburg on her last flight sails over New York. These pictures made from a Pathé news plane less than four hours before the tragedy show the world's largest airship heading for Lakehurst, New Jersey. Over Newark's famous auto skyway, the airship was hailed by thousands who little dreamed it was their final glimpse of the Hindenburg. Inside the silver envelope are 16 separate gas bags, each filled with hydrogen, a highly inflammable gas. From the ground, you can see the forward control cabin from which the ship is operated. The windows along the side indicate the location of the passengers' quarters, in which many were carried to a flaming death. Approaching Lakehurst, the Hindenburg appeared a conquering giant of the skies, but she proved a puny plaything in the mighty grip of fate. It almost seemed as if fate had set the stage for the horrible tragedy. A graceful craft sailing serenely to her doom. For three hours, the dirigible circled the landing field at Lakehurst, New Jersey, dumping more water ballast than ever before in vain efforts to level off. Again, she dumps ballast and a nervous tension grips those who are watching, for this is something unusual. There goes more ballast, but the tail is settling in spite of all that has been dumped. A grim note of impending tragedy. Finally, the landing lines are dropped. These scenes were filmed by Pathé News cameraman William Deek, and you're about to see the pictures he got when the ship exploded. Those aboard leaping for life from a flaming inferno, the actual crash of the Hindenburg, an airship destroyed in less than half a minute. Rushing to the rescue, the heroes of the tragedy dash in, heedless of danger to help the injured to safety, while others, beyond help, perish in the flames. The blazing aftermath reveals the extent of the disaster, an inferno which became a flaming tomb, a twisted mass of girders, the seared and scorched skeleton of what was once a mighty airship. Mm -hmm. 